What's good? It's your brother YK The Truth. And it's another sad day in the Ab Original community. It's a very sad day. You can never use 60 minutes again. Hank Greeley, a law professor at Stanford University, has studied this new field. He worries that people don't realize just how many ancestors they actually have. Um, I actually think that this is a fundamental confusion that we see with people in some communities. I have four grandparents, four, and eight great grandparents. They come from different places. That's how, that's how lineage works. Showing us one auntie or one grandmother doesn't tell us that you're a Native American. I don't even know if you understand how lineage works. You would have to show me it on all four of your grandparents or all eight of your great grandparents to make the argument you're making. And you certainly would have to go beyond 200 years. That just means that somebody, if we believe that, and I don't know if I do, that someone who was an enslaved African entered married with someone who was native. That doesn't say that you're not an African. But what it does mean is, once again, you're a confused African. Eight generations ago, both you and I had 256 great-great-great-great-great-great-grandparents. Wait, you're saying that if you go back eight generations, uh -huh. we have 256 great-great-great-grandparents? Yes, it doubles every generation. So you've got two parents, you have four grandparents, you have eight great-grandparents, <laughs> 16 great-great-grandparents, and it adds up fast. It adds up so fast, in fact, that if you go back 20 generations, you've got over a million grandparents. 1,048,576 to be exact. You can never use the law professor, Hank Greeley, again. You have to take your DNA test. YK The Truth just took 60 minutes away forever 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 ever forever ever take away saying that it's less than one percent accurate your brother yk the truth reached out to hank greeley and little to my surprise he responded back so i'm going to share to you what this law professor said from 60 minutes is DNA testing a scam? Can you test your ethnicity through DNA? Let's see what Hank Greeley has to say. The same guy from 60 Minutes. This is a body bag to the Aboriginal community. Do not share this video. Don't upload this video this video to your channel don't do none of that share this video that's all i'm asking share this video let's get it so let's get it this is hank greeley he says i'm a stanford law professor i work on ethical legal and social issues and biosciences let's go down okay he responded to me because i asked him i said um is DNA testing a, a scam? Is it a hoax? Is it not real? Or does it just have limitations? And he said, wow, the 60 minutes segment I did about was in 2008. Didn't know that was still alive. Short sure answer, both then and even more now. It can be done, but it still has major limitations. So for one, DNA testing can be done as a way of finding, confirming fairly close genetic relatives out to second cousins say it's quite good as a way of telling your ethnic roots. It's okay. It's good at telling you if you have ancestry from some of the major continental groups, Europe, East Asia, the Americas, Sub-Saharan Africa. It's pretty good at telling you how much DNA you inherited from there, but not wonderful. If it tells you you are 50% European, your family tree would probably show you as having somewhere between 35 to 65% to 
somewhere around there, but I don't have data to support a real range of your ancestors from there. If it says you are 10% East Asian, your family tree would probably show you with somewhere between 0 to 20% of your ancestors from there. If it says you are 50% Scottish or Japanese or Ashkenazi, you are probably 20 to 80% from that ancestry. The narrower the population, the less accurate. So every time Rick Kittles tell you guys, Hank Greeley is concerned that the science isn't really there yet for, for you to be giving them the name of a tribe. I think for most companies, I, I would be concerned too. But what about your own company? We, we have he the largest... He didn't exclude you. <laughs> he included you. But we have the largest um, uh, set of uh, sequences from Africa. And so yeah, with, that, with that, we're able to provide some level of probability in terms of frequency. I have the largest database with African people. Over 30,000 lineages. If it says you are 5% Swedish, you may as well have 15% of your ancestry Swedish or 0%. And maybe instead have some Norwegian or Danish or Icelandic, but maybe not. I have done, I had mine done by two firms. Family Tree DNA for that 60 Minutes show that they did not mention it because it wasn't interesting by ancestry. All right, so he had a DNA test done. They all agree I'm overwhelmingly European in ancestry, anywhere from 100 to 95 percent, dependent on the company and the time of the assessment. But very dramatically about the percentages of Irish, Scottish, English, Germany, and my ancestry while throwing in various small percentages of Swedish, Spanish, Southern Europe, Eastern Europe, Jewish, or Middle Eastern, none of them above 10%, and none of them worth much credence. And every year or so, companies change its assessment. My miscellaneous and one of them from Spain to Sweden, of course, one upgrade, but it was about 5%, so I didn't put any weight on it. Okay, if you have non-European ancestry, the details are going to be even worse. Okay, and this is why he's going to break down to you everything Rick Kittles was saying from the jump. The firms have a lot of customers with German or French or English ancestry so they can distinguish somewhat between those European subpopulations. But they have very few customers from Native Americans, South Asians, non-Han East Asians, Sub-Saharan Africans. See that? If they tell you that your ancestry is Cherokee, it might well be Cree or Hopi. If they tell you your ancestry is Korean, it might well be Japanese or Chinese. If they tell you your ancestry is Zulu, it could be Yoruba or Kikuyu, the smaller their customer base, let me repeat that again, the smaller their customer base, the worse their narrow assessments get. I hope this was helpful. So, when you go to places like um, Ancestry and 23andMe, that's the wrong test. Uh, East African, West African. No, see, that's the wrong test. Which one you took? <laughs> like you got the exact... you took you took ancestry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took a African ancestry. You want to go to African ancestry so you can get your African ancestry. So if you know where you originate from, you know you're not from America. You know that you came from Africa. Because those Africans in the, on that continent share the same genetic makeup as you. you so you know you're not a, a native. 
you know you wasn't already here. And Hank Greeley, the man you love to use, said that DNA can be done. So I don't want to ever see you guys talking, hear you guys talking about, well, 60 Minutes said it's, it's limited. It can be done. It's a sad day in the Aboriginal community. Here goes your 60 minutes out the window. Dan Calloway, out the window. Cootie Mayo, out the window. Phoenix Moon, out the window. Any Aboriginal, any so-called native, 60 minutes is out the window. You can go and find out your ethnicity. And it's your brother, YK The Truth, and I'm out. Peace. I haven't seen any indication that these Native American groups, which we are claiming relationships with, are really the descendants of the first people in the Americas. In other words, to make a long story short, I think this Aboriginal thing is nonsense. I think it's anti-African. I think it's destructive to our community. Watch me do it for my ancestors. Watch me do it for my ancestors. They try to say that it ain't happened, it ain't what? But you know that they be capping it. Oh. Watch me do it for my ancestors. Watch me do it. Watch me do it for my ancestors. Watch me do it. They try to say that it ain't happened, it ain't what? But I know that they be capping on. Oh. Now they wanna ask about a boat. Looking at them cause I know that it's a joke. It's a joke. Because they don't really see that they needed the boats more than for slavery. Oh, nigga. So miss me with the dumb shit. My ancestors built the drums with the drumsticks. Uh, so you could move on your feet. Uh, so I could groove to the beat. Uh, but you'd rather be an Indian. But you look more like a pretendian. Columbus named you when he came through with Spain. Oof. Uh, you want to say DNA ain't real. You need help, take your ass to Dr. Phil. And why you want to steal from the natives? Leave them alone, you got your own flavors. Stop being a culture vulture. Please. Stop being a culture vulture. Nigga, please. Stop being a culture vulture. Please. Stop being a culture vulture. Uh. Watch me do it for my ancestors. Watch me do it for my ancestors. They try to say that it ain't happened. It ain't what? But you know that they be capping on. Watch me do it for my ancestors. Watch me do it for my ancestors. They try to say that it ain't happened. It ain't what? But you know that they be capping on.